So question number one, in a model cell, the ratio of calcium between ECF and ICF is 10,000 is to 1. Calculate the equilibrium potential of calcium. So all of you know that this will be calculated based on the Nernst equation, which is saying that equilibrium potential is equal to R T Z F log of concentration of the ion outside the cell upon concentration of the ion inside the cell. Now this is natural logarithm. If I convert this into log base 10 and if I put the normal value of this constant that is R T and F, what will happen? This equation will be modified to plus 61 millivolt upon Z log base 10 concentration of the ion outside upon concentration of the ion inside. So now in this question, the ECF calcium between outside and inside is 10,000 is to 1. That means I can say this is 10 to the power 4, right? So this is 10 to the power 4. So if I put it into this formula plus 61, Z is the valency. So valency of calcium is plus 2. So now this is log base 10, 10 to the power 4. So we all know that log 10 to the power 4 is nothing but 4. So plus 61 multiplied by 4 upon 2. This is nothing but plus 122 millivolt. So the first question answer that what is the equilibrium potential of calcium in this cell is plus 122 millivolt. You know that normal ratio between ECF and ICF calcium is 12,000 is to 1, 12,000 is to 1. This is the normal ratio. But in this question, although it is given 10,000 is to 1, actual ratio is 12,000 is to 1. And that's why the equilibrium potential of calcium in a mammalian cell is plus 132 millivolt. This is the normal or uh, normal equilibrium potential in a mammalian cell, right?